What's up guys, Want here again with our day 2 of tutorials. I'm doing this because I want to give you something, um, I, I didn't really need to know that he was online. <laughs> okay, um, I'm doing this for you because since it's Christmas and you guys have given me so much support, support sorry, and I, I, you've just been awesome lately and I, I can't appreciate how much I'm grateful to you. If you missed day one of tutorial, please go watch it because if you're seeing this tutorial as your first of the days, um, you won't understand what I did um, till, till this day. So please go back uh, on the first tutorial, I'll put an, an annotation right about here. Um, yeah. So let's, let's um, continue our chisel with Cinema 4D. Okay, let's just wait at this. Okay, it's good now. So, first of all, we have our null, right? And we want to move him. And if we try to move him, we 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 won't be able to. You know why? Because this Gigan DM base BMP is our our how can you say? It's our picture, like our actual model. This is only the bones. If I if I like. Let me just. If you see, th this is just the bone. So if we move this, we we'll, we would only be moving the bones. So what we are going to do is we want to select this this triangle here. And now, as you can see, we can move it. So what we're going to do is select this right back. And then what we're going to do, we're going to click on this and we're going going to put it inside it, so that every time we move a leg, it will move only the leg. You know what I'm saying? Because if we try to move him without being on uh, attached with the bones, if we, 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 like, no, what the fuck? What the hell? Wait. No, oh yeah, right, right, because this is inside here. So, but I'll put it this anyways, because that's what I usually do. So, let's just say that I want to move, let me see. I don't want to get complicated here, because as you know, just... For the player to give one step in front, it it would probably uh, take like 30 minutes because it's a really hard work. And for those of you who say that I don't know how to animate models, this is the reason I don't actually animate models besides their head or their torso or actually things that don't cost much. Because if I put that effort on um, like animating him like running from here to there, like, like far, like from there, it would, took, it would um, take me like, uh, I don't know, like, um, not exaggerate, exact, uh, I don't know how to say this word, not being like um, overreacting, but it would take like one week, one week to make him run from from here to, to, to that, that point. It would take me a lot. That's why I don't actually do animations, but I will start doing them. So don't worry. So what we're going to do is like, let's just animate his head. His head, sorry. So, um, his, we have to click till we find our neck. And when, once we find our neck, we'll try to rotate. And he will only rotate the arms and um, the head, since it's the neck, right? So let's just... Go to our camera and create a keyframe here, so that we don't have, so that we don't have to always um, zoom in and zoom out. So le here you can see the head, and like you see that the left arm and right arm are in the the neck uh, bone um, bone structure. So every time you move the neck, you will, you will also move the um, the left arm and right arm because they're attached to the neck. So we only want to move his head. So as you can see, I'm rotating only his head. And for those that, of you that don't like him, obviously, with his arms um, stretched out, we're going to... No, 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 we have to click here, and then we have to select all of these and rotate it um, 75 degrees. Now, if I don't, I don't want to render because it, 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 it will take a lot, but I'll teach you some tricks on, on rendering, not on this tutorial. <laughs> So let's start uh, again with our left arm. I think no, this is yeah. So select both of them, rotate it 75 degrees, press shift to have actually have an accurate uh, degree um, scale. So now our model is standing, no stretch out arms or any crap like that. So 
let's just animate his head. Let's let's just say that he starts with his head pointing down. So we're going to create a keyframe here, and then we rotate his head down, and we keyframe again, and like he will take uh, 30 frames equals one second. So he will take one second to move his head up. So as you can see. We keyframe it and look at his head. That's how easy it is. But if you want to do a um, advancing um, animations, you will have to wait for the next tutorial because this was the basics of animation. This was only the basics to teach you through how to animate them and how can you um, an animate like his head or his arms or anything like that that isn't advanced. So on the next tutorial, we're going to make a step only a step and that will take me like half an hour so I'll probably have to speed that up but no problem um yeah guys this was day two of our Christmas 4d which is a series I created I really like the name and yeah guys hope you like it and please go watch my first tutorial if you're watching this first you know you know you understand what I'm saying so if you're watching this before watching the first you should go back and go see uh, day one because it will help you how to import the model, how to put textures in the model, how to import the map, and how to import the model into the map. So yeah, that was it, guys. I hope you're having a wonderful time watching my tutorials and all of that. All your life has been going good. And yeah, guys, that was it, and I'll see you later.